What's up guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Today's gonna be a pretty big day for me. I got my homegirl's 2013 FRS and today I'm gonna be bagging it. Let's get started. So this is Melissa's car. She's already pretty damn low. This is her fitment. Not super aggressive, but aggressive enough in front to where it pokes a little bit. In the rear, she's tucking just a little bit. Fucking clean. She has an APR carbon fiber splitter with rods. She has, I think these are Avid wheels. She has a DC Sport exhaust. And her interior is absolutely sick. Likewise, shift knob, NRG e-brake, NRG wheel with the quick release, sticker bombs, and some bride seats. Takata harnesses, fresh. Just kidding, not Takata harnesses, just <laughs> Takata seatbelt, patty things, whatever. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out on the inside, just take out all the seats, get all the trim off so I can run the wiring harness and run all the air lines and start from there. Why are you getting bags? Well, I don't know why. It's anti stance stance, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Melissa, why are you getting bags for? You don't even stance. Fake <laughs> ass friends. <laughs> what are you doing, Thomas? Test it out. Make sure it works. Making sure the cherry picker works? Yep. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how long it's been. Like five out. minutes. If it takes this long for sunflowers, just imagine the engine. <laughs> Sunflower seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man. That's some heavy shit. It's, it's, it's. Work it, Thomas. It's Get your workout in. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to show you what I got done so far. I know earlier it was light outside, but now it's super dark. But it's because I've been working. So over here, I got the platform for the compressor to be mounted. And over here, I got the platform for the block to be mounted. I just finished running the harness through the side trimming over here. I was able to pop this trimming off to run it neatly in this trimming and down to this side door trimming. There should be a firewall over here where the main power source of the harness goes to the battery on that side. That's how you want to set up your harness for the FRS. What's up guys? New day, new fit as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I've got done so far. All right, so I got the compressor and the management block mounted down into the trunk so it won't move. It's pretty solid, ain't going nowhere. And then I got the trunk mounted right up here. This as well is also very solid. It's not going anywhere, no wiggles. So the next step is to jack up the car and take the wheels off so I can figure out how I'm gonna route the air lines and height sensor lines. Let's get it. Look who showed up. What's up, Thomas? Nice hair. <laughs> What's up, bruh? What's up? How you feeling from last night? <laughs> dude, I drink hella, dude. I'm yeah. I forgot how much of a bitch it was to get a slammed car off the ground. I don't miss it. Bags is the way to go when you're trying to work on your car. Fuck that shit. Damn. Got my boy Thomas. 
<laughs> putting some film on my tail lights for fun. If, if, if you if you go close enough, if you go really close, you can see there are hella bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did I did hey. I did with my fingers. <laughs> hey, that's what hey that's what happens in it's free, you know. <laughs> Hey, is that your heat gun? Do it again. Before? <laughs> heat gun. And after. Yeah, dude. So you know how Thomas get, get this haircut? He get a bowl, he put it on his head, and he just cut what, whatever is left over. Alright, so I got the airline, ran through the inside of the car, through this firewall right here, and I got it. It comes out of here. And it just tucks right into the trim on the side and back on the back of this trim. When you pop this off, it should take you all the way back to the trunk. Got the airline ran behind this trim and to the management block. I feel like that's the cleanest way to do it, where all the airlines and wires are tucked away and out of sight. Damn, so I just shotgunned a Red Bull with my boy Randy and Andrew. Never done that before, but fuck, it's hitting me. Don't recommend doing that one, but it was fun. So I just finished routing all the lines. It's a fucking mess in here, but it's okay. I'm gonna clean it all up once I, everything's connected. So unfortunately, Royal Brass is closed, so I can't buy the right fittings to connect the water trap. I'm also missing a couple fittings to fit in the tank to the water trap to the compressor so that's going to be a project for tomorrow when I can go pick up the parts. Since I can't get the system fully up and running I'm just going to start on the struts, get the struts fully mounted on the car and then mount the height sensors. That's like the next hardest part so if I get that done by today I'm going to get everything prepped so that tomorrow when I get the right fittings we'll just start airing out. I'm gonna be installing the rears now. This is how they look. It's a sleeve bag. Here are the leader lines. And in here we have the spanner wrench with either 3 8 OD or quarter inch OD fittings. Because Melissa has a 3 8 valve block and 3 8 line, we're gonna go ahead and use the 3 8 fittings. Here are Melissa's BCBR coilovers. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and put these bad boys in. Let's do it. All right guys, so the rears are off. Literally three bolts. It's not that difficult to remove them. And here's the comparison side by side. We got the bags and the coils. The rear bags are in. Very easy. Just that 17 millimeter bolt right there. And two 14 millimeters up top. And it's out. There it is. All right guys, I'm not sure if you guys have had the privilege of seeing these in person, but this just looks fucking clean. Airlift strut or airlift bag strut. This is some good quality shit. All right guys, here's both the bags side by side. You're gonna get a dual bellow bag. I think that's what it's called, I'm not sure. And these uh, type of bags in front, the rears are sleeves as I showed you earlier. Camber plated. I'm pretty sure you get a, a decent amount of camber from these top, top hats, but you can invest in some aftermarket top hats that'll give you up to minus seven degrees. So, but you know, for a factory top hat, it's pretty good. Look at that travel. It's a good amount. It's clean. That right there is the quarter inch OD. Here is the 3 8 OD, that's the one we want. Here we are. What's up everybody on Christian's channel? 
Christian is working on the car and I'm gonna entertain you guys. Check this shit out. Pretty good with my mouth. Mm, one, two, three. I'm gonna hit the garage. Ah, 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 ah. Never mind, three, that ends it here. Bye, guys. The front bags are in. It was pretty chill to install. I mounted the leader line over here. I left a bit of sag so that when it airs down, it can kind of still push this up. And when it airs up, it still has some slack to come back down. So I thought that was a really good way to set it up. Here I still gotta cut the air line and connect it. I ended up using the stock and links because it was a bitch to remove so just disconnected it here and put it on here and it was perfect. Next all there is to do is install the height sensors. So in the back everything was a breeze to install. Got the leader line connected over here as well as right here held with the same bracket I used in the front. I have 3 8 line coming from the vent in the trunk, which is about right here, right there, where the light is shining. So the vent, so the line goes through the vent and comes around to the other side in here and comes out right there. I hope that helps. so you guys can see the vent it's right by the quarter panel of the back right there I have the height sensor line I'm sorry I have the height sensor wire and the 3 8 airline going in there so all I have left to do tonight is get the height sensors installed and tomorrow I'm gonna go to Royal Brass to get the right fittings for the tank once I get that done, we're gonna fire up the compressor and get the struts calibrated. Sorry, get the car calibrated and we're gonna air out tomorrow. What are your thoughts, babe? Yes. <laughs> oh. The sheriff's back in town. What are you doing here? Are you doing illegal activities in my garage? Huh? Do you have a permit? To work in this garage, do ya? <laughs> Who's the sheriff? I am. I'm nice. I will let you do it tonight. <laughs> we out. What's up, guys? So the car is done. I got the height sensors mounted and the system running. All the wires are tucked away. I'm about to put on the wheels to get the system calibrated. But before I put on the wheels, I would like to show you guys how and where I mounted the sensors. I know every car is different, FRSs are different, SUKs are different when it comes to mounting height sensors and overall install in general. I know I don't have a lot of footage for this video. It's a little difficult to work on a car with a deadline and turn on the camera and start vlogging. But I did manage to scrap up this much footage for you guys. I hope it's enough and I hope it's helpful. I'm working on it. I think once I get more videos under my belt, I'll get the hang of working on the car and showing the highlights on camera. So the rears are installed. I mounted the height sensor right about here. And I connected a bracket onto the lower mount of the strut. Uh, the reason why I put a bracket, I chose to put a bracket there, is because that almost mimics the travel that's going on with the strut. So if the strut is traveling, like say more or less three to four inches, then I'm gonna get three to four inches of travel on the height sensor. So that was kind of my logic and thinking behind it. I'm hoping everything works out in terms of calibration, but yeah, that's my work. And for the fronts, I decided to mount the height sensor to the sway bar. I did that because it follows the movement of the strut itself. So if the strut's moving four inches, the height sensor is going to be moving four inches. So I felt like this was going to be the most accurate setup. 
have the leader line connected up to here and the height sensor wire coming up through there. What's up, Melissa? You ready to pick up your car? Yes, I'm so excited. The only thing left to do is put the wheels on and calibrate it. What's up, Angel? How you doing, bruh? Hi. Fuck yeah, man, that was a hard couple days, huh? It was, man. Glad it's, glad it's running good, dude. It's fucking mint. So right now I gotta lower the fronts so she can get some good fitment in. And then uh, once I lower the fronts, yeah. we're gonna run yeah, calibration, yeah. and if calibration passes, we're fucking solid, man. Sick. Solid. Alright guys, we're done with the FRS. I'm here with Melissa. How do you feel about the car? I'm super excited. This is fucking sick. I love it. You love it? I love it. Hell love yeah. It. Thank you. The car is aired out right now. Shit, dude, the lighting's perfect right now. Alright, whenever you're ready. Damn. Fucking clean. You're out, Melissa? 